Now to special education. The state impaneled a task force for improving special education for public school students. But instead of improving special education, one task force member says the final report focused on cutting costs, not cost effectiveness. She's Jean Pasternak, a task force participant who also has a child with special needs. Thank you for being with us. You say you weren't even sent a copy of the final report? No, we never received a copy. It was rather surprising. The report came out on the day after Thanksgiving, and it seemed as though it was almost intended to get no attention and no focus. And the fact that we did not receive a copy was rather alarming, to say the least. You did ultimately get a copy yes. by hook or crook. Um, and you say it didn't reflect the parents' concerns. What in, no. the, in the public hearings were the parents' concerns? The primary focus that I heard from parents and I've heard for the last decade working closely with parents in my community and outside my community across the state is that there are plenty of laws that are protecting our families and our children, but they're not enforced. And that is really the theme of what I heard from parents throughout the hearings. So the, 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 the statutes that govern um, the state of New Jersey special education provision and also the federal law, which is called IDEA, both those levels of law are not being adhered to by local school districts. And the way in which that would happen is if there was more accountability and attention from the Department of Education's Office of Special Education Programs. You mean they're not being taught? They're being taught, but not using necessarily the correct programs. There's not enough feedback loop within the programming so that student achievement is measured and then the programming and the instruction is readjusted to reflect what works, what doesn't work. This is where the problems occur. So the, 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 if you look at the achievement data, you can see in there that more than half of um, the, the uh, students are, are not achieving proficiency based on state standardized testing. That was in 2014. To me, that's a travesty. Why would we not be able to at least get an average or a proficient level for all our students? Was there anything positive in the report? There were very many things that I felt were, were positive, but they were old news. These are things that previous task force had touched on, had gone in, even into more depth on, but none of these things had been implemented. And that's the disappointment that I had. We, we started off looking at the old task force reports uh, the New Jersey uh, Reading Task Force that had occurred mm -hmm. a couple of years earlier. They had some excellent recommendations, and in fact, some of those turned into law, recent law uh, for dyslexic students, but n they're, they're not complete. Are parents and teachers on the same page? What do you think needs mm -hmm. to be done? I think, I think that's exactly the point. Parents and teachers really are on the same page. We know our kids, they are spending all day with our children. If we could work together, and really drive this machine, we would be so much better off. But for so many reasons, parents were afraid to speak out, and certainly teachers are fearful of their jobs, retaliation. We all feel that we just don't have a voice, that much of this is controlled by administrators, union representatives, et cetera. If we could just get right down to the people, as they say, we would just be so much better off. We could solve problems. Very quickly, you reached out to the governor of the State Education Commission. Yes. Have you heard back? No, have not. We wrote uh, uh, a letter directly and have not heard anything back. Thank you, Jean Pasternak. Thank you.